Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 15th Annual People's Choice Award Ceremony. We'd like to start by welcoming tonight's honorees, our 2018 People's Choice Award winners. Please rise for the singing of our national anthem, performed by Emma King, class of 2018. You can take it. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave thank you emma that was absolutely awesome Good evening. My name is Sean Castle. I'm an English teacher here at Seneca High School. Uh, I have the good fortune of working in an outstanding school district and an exemplary school that is surrounded by people who care tremendously about our staff, students, and our community. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank some of our strongest supporters, including our principal, Mr. Spector. and our teachers who run our Renaissance program uh, that sponsor tonight's event, Ms. Casey Mikowski, Mrs. Sandy Langen, and Mrs. Jamie Myers. It is an honor and a privilege to be here to host the 2018 People's Choice Award Ceremony. At this time of year, schools reflect upon the school year and take the time to honor many of our students in a variety of venues. Some are honored for their accomplishments in the classroom, some on the athletic fields, some for their achievement in extracurriculars. But tonight we've gathered for what I feel is the greatest awards ceremony. Tonight we celebrate the it factor. The students on stage have it, I don't want to define it for you, I'll let our staff do that, but I know for sure that it can bring joy into someone's day, change someone's life, and even move someone to tears. It resides in each of the students on stage tonight. And at Seneca, we are fortunate to have kids who are really smart, really talented. And tonight's honorees may also be really smart and really talented, but more importantly, 
They've been chosen because of who they are and what they mean to the people who chose them. They've been chosen because of their character. All of our nominees have impressed us, perhaps with their manners or their dogged determination, their humor, their reflectiveness, their work ethic, their selflessness, or their winning personalities. From a pool of over 1,100 students, just 44 tonight will receive a medal based on their strength of character. It's you, the students on stage, and it's who you are who makes you special. It's been said that the truth of your character is expressed through the choice of your actions. Well, tonight your actions have been recognized. Tonight the students on stage will hear the impact of their actions and hear how the, the impact they've had on the staff at Seneca High School. The staff has identified you as great human beings, and we want others to see you as we do. This night is a chance to acknowledge and honor your character, your charm, your integrity, and your humil humility. Be proud of yourselves for being nominated and wear your medals proudly at your graduation ceremonies. Before we begin our awards presentations, I need to say a few thank yous. First, I'd like to thank our dedicated teachers, administrators, and the support staff who make Seneca a great place. Thank you for recognizing these students who walk through our halls each day and for coming tonight to pay tribute to them. To our guests, parents, guardians, family, and friends, thank you for the positive influence on, you've had on the next generation and allowing us the opportunity to get to know them each and every day. To Russo's Farm, thank you for the flowers you donated. They're gorgeous. And to the TV crew and our custodial staff, your behind the scenes work is always appreciated. And finally, to our People's Choice nominees, you are the reason we are here tonight. It's now time to introduce our principal, Mr. Jeff Spector, to say a few words. Thank you. All the things he said. Thanks, no, Nam. <laughs> Good evening, and thanks for joining us for our People's Choice Awards. Uh, for your information, this, this event is put on by our Renaissance Club and its advisors. Mr. Castle mentioned the advisors and the students. In its simplest term, Renaissance recognizes students and staff for doing the ordinary extraordinary. So I just want to mention that to you. You can thank the students from Renaissance. They've been the ones who are here. Thanks, guys, for participating in tonight's event and all that you do. In the back of the room is our staff. I also want to take the opportunity to thank them for being here this evening. This evening is not only about recognizing our students, it's also about you, our Seneca staff, for taking the effort to connect with our students and allowing them to touch your heart. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And to our students, congratulations. You are not here by accident. You have done something remarkable. You have touched the life of another person, the most powerful thing you can do. I've taken the time to read what each of your teachers have had to say about you tonight. Some are for one-time interactions, some for year-long interactions, and some for four-year interactions, and in some cases, even longer than that. And some are just for a random act of kindness. You see, whether you know it or not, you have the ability to move others. You may not know who nominated you, but when you touch others, you may truly never know the impact. Teachers assess you by a test grade or class participation. Tonight you get an A in, you, in human relations. Strive to make that a lifelong endeavor. On behalf of our entire staff, thank you for touching our lives, for making our job so much more than a job, and for enriching our lives. Thank you for making Seneca a better place, and thank you for just being you. Please join me in giving them a round of applause. And this is a really cool night. Enjoy the evening. Thank you, Mr. Spector. And now for our presentation of awards. Just a reminder to the staff, please remember to introduce the next presenter before you leave the podium. First up, Mrs. Heather Gardner. Good evening. I would like to invite Sharon Feinlab up. Thank you. 
Sharon is good stuff. She has proven to carry the spirit of Seneca. She came into her first year of high school and instantly got involved. Sharon played on the girls' tennis team this year and is also an active member of the German club. It is one of the highlights of my day when I see Sharon in the hall, and you can be sure she will always say hello with a smile and stop for a word or two. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for this dynamic young lady. Next up, I'd like to invite Mrs. Wolfson. Good evening. My people's choice is Ava Grashorn. In September, Ava walked through our doors, unsure of what high school had to offer, but after warming up, she allowed her enthusiastic and compassionate personality to shine. During our daily discussions, Ava shares her knowledge, passion for learning, and personal stories as they relate to what we are learning in class. Ava has a positive outlook on life and always wears a welcoming smile on her face. In addition to her classroom achievements, she is a great asset to future educators where she is creative, outgoing, and fun. Ava, wear this award proudly and let it be a reminder to continue to strive for excellence and to follow your dreams. I have no doubt that you will have a successful experience at Seneca and as a teacher someday. Congratulations, you earned this. Our next presenter is Ms. Kelly Bolger. I would like to invite up Matthew Miller. <clears throat> it is my pleasure to nominate Matthew Miller for a People's Choice Award. Matt is an amazing, compassionate, considerate, humble, and talented student and musician. This year, Matt made the All South Jersey Senior High School jazz band playing the saxophone. Matt was also the first Seneca student to make the All-State Symphonic Band as the first chair. He also auditioned for the Quaker State City String Band, was accepted, and now plays with this group as a full member. Matt plays 10 instruments and finds time to be an outstanding student, friend, and role model. As his counselor, I am impressed by the balance Matt finds in his life. He is so young and seems to have more insight into his personal goals than many of his peers and some adults I know. I know I am proud of all the accomplishments that Matthew Miller has made this school year, and I'm looking forward to the success this awesome student will have. Great job, Matt. And I would like to invite up Mr. Bauer. Good evening. Uh, first of all, congratulations to all of our award winners tonight. As a teacher, this is always one of my favorite nights of the year. With all the amazing kids we have here at Seneca High School, it's difficult each year to pick just one student for this prestigious award. But this year, my People's Choice Award goes to Kayla Sinclair. <laughs> Kayla is awesome. I often say to my sons at home, give your best effort in everything you do. They should take a page out of Kayla's book because Kayla does that and more. On several occasions, I have erased my son's homework because I didn't think it was neat enough. Kayla would never have to worry about that either. 
She is a model student in my science class. Every day she comes into the room with a smile, a positive attitude, and an open mind. She gives her best effort on everything she does, and she takes pride in her work. She is also the first person in my class to help out a classmate in need. It is a privilege to teach her, and I know that she will uh, continue to be successful in the future. Congratulations. Our next presenter is Mr. Sean Kirby. Good evening. My People's of Choice Award for this year, Aiden Wells. The definition of humble is defined as having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. My People's Choice selection demonstrates, demonstrates many positive qualities in class, which include but are not limited to humility, positive attitude, determination, persistence, strong work ethic, generosity, kindness, patience, and unbreakable focus. Richard Gallup, both late uncle of mine and true pal, stated, no one can take away your mind. He always believed that if one puts their mind to it, they could achieve success in whatever they do. Aiden, I congratulate you on this honor. Continue to make these qualities habits. I confidently say, that you're truly going to be successful in life. You're a great part of our Seneca family. I'm very proud of you. And lastly, as you state to me every day after class, thank you. Next presenter, Mrs. Laura Hoy. My people's choice is Madison Marshall. <laughs> Madison brightens my day every time she walks into the classroom. She's always excited to learn something new and always eager to hear about my weekend. Madison genuinely cares about the people around her, whether a close friend or a new classmate. Appreciating the simple things in life, living in the moment, and finding joy each day. For these reasons and more, I select Madison Marshall to win my people's choice. Okay. Next up is Mr. K.B. Smith. My people's choice is Chris Miller. <laughs> now, sometimes you find yourself in a situation that you swore could never happen. This is where I am right now. When I saw Chris last year in the ISS room, that's uh, in school suspension. The room's right next to mine, and he was in there for reasons undisclosed. He was cheerfully saying that he would be in my class this year, and wouldn't that be great? Thoughts of retirement crossed my mind. This is that year, and here we are. Okay, a rewarding part of teaching is we can see change, maturation, and improvement in a student. That's Chris. It has not been a painless process, but he has his moments, but I think he's heading in the right direction. As my grandpa Sai used to say, he has a good heart, he just has to use it. So now, every day as he bounds down in my room with, KB, I love you, man, I can say back, I love you too, man. Next up is Mr. Seeley. Yeah. 
Good evening. Uh, it won't be a first in an award show where you get back-to-back -back Millers, but it might be a first where you actually get back-to-back -back Kirks. So I want to take time to recognize that as Mr. K.B. Smith walks off. And uh, I come on up here for you. I want to call up Madison Miller. So Madison Miller is a student who looks to be involved in everything possible, not just in school, but in life. Uh, everything Madison does, she does with a smile, a sense of pride, and um, she's very passionate about it. It is very refreshing to see a student that wants to learn, wants to be involved, and wants to help. As classes leave my room on a daily basis, I always pride myself on making a simple remark or a gesture of have a nice day or have a nice weekend. And there are times on class three where Madison clearly beats me to that. And that goes beyond refreshing. So congratulations, Madison Miller, my People's Choice Award winner. And now we have Mrs. Mikowski. Um, my People's Choice nominee is Kara Wozniak. <laughs> when I started to think about my People's Choice winner for this year, Kara's name immediately pops into my head. She is the definition of an all-star, excelling not only on the soccer field and the track, but also in the classroom. She is a pleasure to coach, absorbing information and reminding me of why I love to coach. She is naturally happy and brings joy and laughter to everyone around her. She definitely lives life to the fullest and her smile is infectious. I am excited that I will have the opportunity to coach Kara for another two years and experience her laughter, dedication, and commitment. I hope one day that I will have the opportunity to meet her pet Canadian goose, Peck. Yes, she has a pet Canadian goose. <laughs> Next up is Mr. Ken Zerone. My People's Choice recipient was a student of mine in Algebra I and Geometry during her freshman and sophomore years at Seneca. If I could describe her with 10 words, I would say she is trustworthy, outgoing, respectful, intelligent, bold, optimistic, warm-hearted, motivated, altruistic, and nice. The first letters of those 10 words spell the name Tori Bowman. Come on up, Tori. Uh, Tori, I think you are a role model uh, for the students and staff members at Seneca because you always have a positive attitude, a friendly smile, and a great sense of humor. We are lucky to have you at Seneca, and I wish you the best of luck and success during your upcoming senior year and beyond. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Our next presenter is Mr. Chad Devino. Uh, good evening. Uh, the person I chose for People's Choice is Cody Gordon. Um, Thomas Edison once said, I've not failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Um, I feel like Cody definitely exemplifies the essence of this quote uh, to a T. Um, he has shown with hard work, dedication, challenging oneself, and overcoming adversity, um, anything is possible. I believe Cody will continue to work hard and challenge himself against all odds and despite all obstacles. And for all reasons stated and stated many more, I nominate Cody Gordon for People's Choice. Thank you. Up next is Mrs. Katie Teller.
My People's Choice is Dominic Lebrano. <laughs> Though I shouldn't probably admit this, um, whenever I get a chance, I try to sneak a little hug from Dominic, and he runs really fast, but I just want to know, want you to know that I always catch him and give him a heads up that I'm going to hug him at the end so he can't run. This past November was truly a time for thankfulness. I was blessed with the opportunity to watch my people's choice as he grew into a respectful, responsible, and self-aware young man. Dominic Lebrano made a decision to take ownership of his life and realize he gets to choose the quality of his future. Dom, I applaud you and respect you, but more than anything, I am so proud of you. I hope someday while dining at a nice restaurant that you come out from the kitchen so I can pay my compliments to the chef. Next up, Miss Casey Stickney. My people's choice is Lola Marion. Not everyone is good at math, so it's something students have to work hard at. And even with hard work, it's possible to not get the grade you want. This discourages a lot of students in the math class, and many tend to give up. That was not the case for my people's choice. No matter what the grade, she still comes for help, and works hard, and stays focused. And that's why I chose Lola to be my people's choice. Next up is Miss Celeste Wilden. My people's choice is Claudia Parsick. In Anime Club, in which I am the advisor for the past five years, many of the students go by another name. Claudia is known as Robin. Robin, you are truly authentic and true to yourself, and because of this confidence, you are a leader in our group. You inspire me to be the best version of myself, to be strong in the face of adversity, and to be more open-minded. I feel that more people should strive to have the strength and passion that you exemplify in everyday life. You may experience difficulty, but when you really need help, you let others in, which shows strength in itself. You are undeniably a strong person, and I know that you are capable of anything you set your mind to. Thank you for inspiring me in life and making me want to be a better person. Claudia Parsik. And next up is Jen Vesconcelos. Good evening. My People's Choice nominee is Emma Thompson. Emma, would you please join me? I've had the pleasure of knowing Emma for the past three years since she's been volunteering as a peer mentor in the weekly social club at Seneca. Emma, you have a remarkable ability to connect with your peers, and you're a wonderful role model. Some of the words that I would use to describe you are kind, intel intelligent, dedicated, compassionate, and industrious. You have shared your time and talents to give students a place where they feel comfortable and accepted, which in turn helps them to gain confidence in social settings. You are a talented artist who has made contributions to Seneca as a peer mentor and as a color guard captain. Emma, you're an outstanding young woman who should be proud of all of your accomplishments. Congratulations.
And next up is Mr. Sam Myra. Hello, everyone. And I know it's been said already, but um, again, I congratulate everybody. This is one of my favorite nights of the year because we get to learn about kids that maybe aren't making the headlines or always in the news, but um, they are special, special people. Um, my people's choice, I feel like I've known a lot longer than I have. I've known him for four years. Um, part of his life is a reflection of my own, and that's kind of cool when you're an educator or any kind of mentor is when someone brings out the good in you. I'd like to bring up Marcus Aristone. <laughs> Dr. Nido Kubain said, your circumstances do not determine where you go, they only determine where you start. Like all of us, my people's choice had his own set of circumstances. Through his four years of high school, we had some long talks about school, family, friends, but mostly just about life. And I always admired his ability to do the right thing by others while doing right by himself. Tonight, I honor Marcus Aristone as a walking testament of someone who understood that while being challenged in life is inevitable, being defeated is optional. Next up is Mrs. Ellen Rondinelli. Hi. Uh, my people's choice is Evelise Bratton. Come on up, Evelise. So, Evelise makes an impression and an impact as soon as she enters the classroom. Freshman year, she walked into my environmental science class, and I immediately knew she was independent and strong, but as the year progressed, I realized how she was also very kind, warm, sensitive, and caring. Evelise Bratton is a type of student a teacher never forgets. Her smile can light up the room, and her humor and one-liners will break through the mundane of your everyday classroom. Evelise and I have remained close through her career here at Seneca, and throughout the years, she has really made me work hard as her teacher and her friend. Evelise put me to the test, but she made me a better teacher. Her successes have made me so proud, and I cannot wait to cheer her on next month at graduation. Congratulations, Evelise. <laughs> And next up is Miss Erin Lawler. So this is my hashtag awesome, awesome human award. Um, sometimes our journey can be paved with bumpy roads and obstacles that we would choose not to face. But our quality of life, I believe this with all my heart, is determined by how we choose to either face these bumpy roads or to avoid them. So my people's choice this evening is Tiffany Briscoe. So I'm gonna try not to cry, but here we go. Um, Tiffany, without doubt, is one of the strongest, most inspirational human beings I've ever encountered. She has inspired me to be better, to live life fuller, and to be authentic. Tiffany, I wanna thank you for refusing to be anything but you. And as you stepped into this next chapter, I wish you a life brimming with goodness, beautiful experiences, and the same level of richness that you have bestowed upon so many. Peace, love, and goodness, my friend.
Next up is Mr. Dave Connect. My People's Choice Award this year goes to Tyler Broxa. I first met Tyler as his freshman English teacher. Over the years, I have come to know him as a good person who works hard and makes smart choices. Tyler is currently an EMT and training as a firefighter because he wants to help others. I also know that Tyler has a genuine concern for others. Anytime someone is in need, Tyler shows up. This year, when a student needed assistance from our nurse, Tyler asked, is everything good? Anything I can help with? Tyler, we wish you the best and know that you will continue helping and serving others. And finally, now that you'll be graduating, I'm happy that I won't have to kick you out of the AC intersection. Our next presenter is Ms. Amy Romanecki. Hi, oh, let me move this down a little bit, I'm shorty. Okay, my people's choice is Bronte Castro. We know Bronte as Magnus in Lit Mag, um, and I've known you since freshman year as a member of Seneca's Literary Magazine. You went from a wide-eyed writer wanting to have anything published to, have, uh, to having many pieces of work published to becoming editor-in-chief for the last two years. Magnus has bloomed as a writer, creating brilliant short stories that are as unique and special as you are. I also appreciate all the help you've given us in the library, shelving books, untangling wires, and always shining that winning smile. I am so proud to have known you for the last four years and can't wait to continue to read the incredible stories that will undoubtedly come. Thank you. And next up, Ms. Deb Doolittle. Hello, and congratulations to all of tonight's honorees. Um, Haley Chapman is my People's Choice Award. Haley, would you join me? From freshman year, English acting our way, during English class, acting our way through Romeo and Juliet, to senior English, anguishing through the book 4,000 Days, Haley and I have continued to share classes together. Haley faces each day with a smile regardless of what may be swirling in her life. Academic challenges, extracurricular expectations and goals, as well as sensitive medical issues facing a loved one are all part of Haley's daily routine. Happy and smiling, Haley moves through the day surrounded by friends. Continue to carry yourself confidently through life, expressing yourself through your art and seizing every moment. May you march happily into your next adventure, swinging your color guard flag and smiling for all to see. Congratulations. And our next presenter is Mr. Bob Colombo. Um, the, the stool is kind of a dead giveaway, so uh, my People's Choice Award winner is Jenna Denaris. <clears throat> All right, so trying to describe Jenna is kind of a complicated thing, so I figured I would just kind of share a, a quick story about her that kind of sums up her personality. So after school one day, I noticed Jenna was talking to Mr. Bauer, Mr. Greg Bauer, and she asked him, hey, are you coming to our game today? And he replied, no, sorry, I can't. 
So Jenna says back, well, are you sure? Because I promise it'll be really short. And they both start laughing, and she walks away. So I walked up to, to Greg, and I said, do you have Jenna in class? And he said, no, nah, I've never taught her. She just stops and says short jokes to me every day. <laughs> um, so that's Jenna. Um, she has the unique ability to make everyone around her smile. She has such a positive outlook on life, and she will no doubt be successful in whatever she does. <laughs> Next up is Ms. Tracy Betts. Good evening. My People's Choice nominee this year is Nick Decker. Many people are aware that Nick is really good at baseball, but not so many people are aware of his talents beyond the baseball diamond. After having had Nick in two elective classes, I was able to uncover just some of these hidden talents. Did you know Nick's a singer? In discussion and debate class, Nick convinced me that a karaoke battle would help develop the public speaking skills needed for debate. Nick started off strong, belting out top hits from one of his favorite recording artists, Justin Bieber. Nick's willingness to let his guard down inspired his classmates to sing along too. And by the end of the period, every student had his or her turn singing into the stapler at the encouragement of Nick Decker. Nick is also a versatile actor. When given the task of emulating any character from any school-appropriate movie seen for a project in creative drama class, Nick chose a character played by Jennifer Aniston. As the course went on, he continued to take on other diverse roles, playing Nana, the family dog from Peter Pan, and was even a mermaid in our final class project. I'm impressed by and thankful for Nick's ability to always find the fun and humor in life. Nick, come up closer. <laughs> this, is, this is really important. As you proceed on to your many successes, I hope you continue to never take yourself too seriously, regularly sing loudly, and always act proudly. Congratulations. And next up is Principal Jeff Spector. My People's Choice Award winner is Taylor Fisher. So I have to take the opportunity to amend what's written, and I know you haven't seen it yet, but I want to read a piece, and then I'm going to come back and read the whole thing. Come on over, Taylor. I write in here, I really can't remember a time that Taylor was not filled with enthusiasm, always a beaming smile and a cheerful hello. But then there was a time since I submitted this that never became there was one time. And it was when she was complaining to Mr. Glossner that it better not have been her father who nominated her for People's Choice. And she did this right in front of me when she was my People's Choice Award winner. And I'll let you know that I do know your father longer than you're alive almost 30 years, but he has no reason why you are my People's Choice Award winner. A sign hangs proudly in my house that reads, knowledge is power, but enthusiasm pulls the switch. What a great motto to have, and that so reminds me of my People's Choice, a winner, a Choice Award winner, Taylor Fisher. I have truly known Taylor since she was two, as has most of the Seneca family, because mom and dad have always had her around. I really can't remember, and I can't remember one, a time that Taylor was not filled with enthusiasm, always a beaming smile, and a cheerful hello. There is certain electricity she conveys that brightens up every room. Maybe it's a cheerful le cheerleader in her, but that sign hangs proudly in my house because enthusiasm is the key to success, and I want my kids to know the enthusiasm that Taylor Fisher lives her life with should be an example for all of us. My People's Choice Award winner is Taylor Fisher. Next is Ms. Katie Gosker. Good 
My 2018 People's Choice Award goes to, award goes to Rachel Green. Rachel is the perfect example of what it means to never give up. Rachel came out her freshman and sophomore year for the girls' volleyball team. We saw her potential and offered her a practice spot and to be the team manager during games. Not the most ideal position, but Rachel did agree and was one of the hardest working girls on the team. In the off season, Rachel did not stop playing. She continued playing volleyball by playing on a club team, beach volleyball, and our summer league. When it came time for Rachel's for tryouts Rachel's junior year, she came back a different player. We knew without a doubt that we wanted Rachel and needed Rachel on our team. She has been a great leader on and off the court, always smiling, no, no matter what the situation is, is oh, <laughs> and always cheering on her teammates. Rachel DeGreen. And next up, Ms. Ellen Wren. My People's Choice Award this year has many talents on and off the field. In the classroom, she is artistically and academically gifted. She is part of our engineering program and just as a pleasant, hardworking student. She does what is asked of her, and she is always a hardworking athlete. She might not always be in the limelight, but she is always pushing her teammates and herself to get better. She played field hockey for the first time her junior year and created moves that some of our best players couldn't duplicate. Her moves were awesome and well-timed. Being in the cage for lacrosse is her spot, and trust me, she's much tougher than she looks. My 2018 People's Choice Award is Madison Grudy. Thank you. Next up is Ms. Devine. My People's Choice Award is Kevin Gazelle. Being the school nurse, it's always hard to pick one person. I can honestly say Kevin's never been in the office, not even to turn in his Disney forms. <laughs> My People's Choice is a senior who has impressed me for four years with his athletic skills, scholastic endeavors, sportsmanship, as well as politeness. Despite all of these characteristics, my nominee, Kevin Gazelle, has managed to impress me yet again this year. Kevin is a scholar athlete who is humble and quiet while encouraging others to do their best. He walks the halls with a smile, friendly good morning when he sees me, and always holds the door open. While chaperoning the homecoming dance this year, I noticed a freshman that was new to our school and alone in the gym. A few minutes later, I saw Kevin approach him, and they walked off together. As I rounded the night at my different assignments, I saw Kevin with this student playing ping pong, cornhole, eating pizza, and getting their picture at the photo booth. I realized that Kevin and this student had spent at least 90 minutes together. This freshman was having a wonderful time, while Kevin, who is a member of the football team, made it a point to befriend the freshman instead of hanging with the team and his friends. This freshman now eats lunch every day in the seniors only section in the media center. I know Kevin will continue as a scholar athlete and kind human being as he continues his education while playing baseball at Binghamton University. Congrats, Kevin. <laughs> Next up is Mrs. Beth Strit Matter, AKA Strit. Max Heater, could you come over, please? Come on. I gave my People's Choice Award to Max because day in and day out, he exhibits kindness. 
whether it is a simple hello, a thank you after class, or a moment when he is faced with two options, be nice or don't be nice, Max instinctively reacts with a warm gesture, an extended hand, and a patient smile. I can tell from talking to Max that he enjoys showing the people in his life that he cares about them through thoughtful gifts and gestures. Max's sensitive worldview also shows up in his written responses in my English class. This empathetic writing style is just a small snapshot of the kind of person Max is. He never tries to be something he is not. This young man always, always stays true to who he is. Even in the face of obstacles or when people try to push his buttons, he always quietly does the right thing because it is simply just who he is. Max, you are genuine, sincere, friendly, and I want to take the time to thank you for adding an extra sprinkle of kindness to my year at Seneca. Good luck as you begin your next journey. Next up is Mr. Bradley Bauer. My people's choice goes to Grace Heineman. When I watch Grace compete in a Seneca uniform, I think of this quote by Evander Holyfield, and I will modify it to make it gender specific. It's not the size of the woman, but the size of her heart that matters. Heart is a word we use in sports when we see athletes give it all they have, often resulting in performances way above what was ever expected. Athletes who play with heart are usually laser focused, intrinsically motivated, excited about winning, and resilient towards setbacks and failure. These same attributes I have witnessed from Grace over the past four years. I have seen her play with heart and put her team above her own accolades. It's been a pleasure watching her compete and put her heart on the line for our Seneca teams. Away from the athletic arena, I have found Grace to be an amazing young lady. I have Although she comes across as a quiet individual, she immediately stood out as a role model for other students. She is thoughtful, grounded, genuine, and respectful to others while providing a leadership role and positive work ethic both on and off the field. Every time I see Grace in the hallway, she always waves and says hi in a way that simply brightens your day. It has been a pleasure getting to know Grace, and I have no doubt she will be successful in whatever she chooses to do. Up next, Mr. Matt Carr. My People's Choice nominee is Mr. Luke Hoey. Uh, to start, I'd like to point out a few similarities that Luke and I share. Uh, first, we'd like to read sports news, not just watch it, which I think is pretty cool in today's world. Next, we are avid Jimmy Buffett listeners. Third, we sweat a lot. Uh, 30 degrees outside, 90 degrees outside, it doesn't really matter. We're drenched. Finally, and most notably, and most noticeably, uh, we both have great hair. Uh, to put it simply, Luke Hoey is just a likable guy. At a young age, he already understands the general recipe for success in this world. He puts forth his best, uh, best efforts each day as a student and as an athlete. He is respectful, he never settles for mediocrity, and he constantly challenges himself to be the best version of Luke Hoey, regardless of any obstacles that he may encounter. Although Luke is on the quiet side, he leads by example while maintaining a contagious, caring, and lighthearted spirit. I truly look forward to hearing from Luke in the future as he takes on life beyond, uh, beyond the hallways of Seneca. Thanks for being you, Luke.
Next up is Mrs. Sandy Langen. Hello. My people's choice is Emma King. <laughs> I've known Emma since her freshman year when she joined my buddies club. She instantly made connections with my student and I knew she was a real special person. She truly touches my heart with her friendly, easygoing attitude, adding something in here, always does what I ask her, <laughs> um, always putting those around her first and at ease. She is always willing to go the extra mile, helping with the buddies club community projects, social rec program, or Olympic Games, and Renaissance. Um, Emma's dedication to Seneca and friendship with our students in the MD program will certainly be missed. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> And next up, Jay Donahue. My People's Choice Award goes to Ryan Lopez. Over the last three seasons, Ryan has been an integral part of our baseball team. As our catcher, he's one of the leaders on the field, making key decisions on pitch selection and defensive assignments. Uh, I'm gonna truly miss his love of the game and his talent at and behind the plate next year. What truly separates Ryan from a lot of players is his likability and his work ethic. He often stays after practice with our pitchers to finish bullpen sessions, even when everybody else goes home. He enjoys the game and he does things the right way. Uh, the only thing Ryan loves more than baseball is his family, uh, which really stands out to me. His perfect day would involve playing a baseball game and then hanging out with his siblings on both sides of his family. Uh, you don't meet many high school students who fit that mold, and although he works tirelessly on baseball and hanging out with his family, he still finds time to work several different jobs. Uh, most notably, he works at Diggerland right now, where he's constantly yelling at little kids and he worked at Murphy's before that so um, he may not enjoy these high school type of jobs uh, but his work ethic will prove to be invaluable uh, when he goes off to college and then has a career. Um, I know Ryan will be missed by me, Coach Carr, uh, all those that know him at Seneca and he is one of the kids that truly defines the term Seneca family. Uh, Ryan's going to attend RCBC and play baseball next year so I wish him nothing but the best of luck. Rilo. Next up, Mrs. Renee Collins. All right, if you're following along in the program, I'm going rogue. So when I first met my nominee, he was a like, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed freshman, um, just starting his high school adventure. He was outgoing, outspoken, and kind of out there. I've never said somebody's name as many times as, I, as I've said his in one day. And to put it in perspective, I have a three, four, and five-year-old at home. Be like, so-and-so, you can't stop distracting him. He needs to pay attention. So-and-so, you don't need to throw that away in the middle of me talking. So-and-so, that was inappropriate. So and so. Um, you need to find some way to connect this to this, like a filter or something. Um, but we survived. Fast forward to the end of the year and we're like rehashing the first year and like how it went and what they liked, what they didn't like, summer plans, and I'm saying goodbye to them and I hear, I'm gonna take your class again. I'm like, who said that? <laughs> and he's like, I am. I'm like, that's great. Like, I'm so ex excited. <laughs> and now here we are. So I checked my rosters this year and staying true to his word, there was his name. And it seemed like it was larger than everybody else's name just like staring back at me. Um, and then I realized there's no girls in my class as I'm looking down. And I'm like, oh, and they're all friends. I took a deep breath and I'm like, all right, I got this. This is good. So if you're ever feeling confident and you got it, come into a junior, senior boys class where they're all friends and your main topic is sports and they'll take you down a notch. 
or 12. So you may be thinking, like, why did you pick this kid? Here it is. Number one, he has a sense of humor. He's the type of kid that you can fire a joke at and he'll fire one back and then you immediately regret even starting joking. Um, his sense of humor isn't for everybody and he's even made his classmates gasp a couple times. It's dry, it's sarcastic, and I quite frankly find it hilarious. Um, one day he, he wasn't doing his best work and he was going down a little bit so I was talking to him and I'm like, Zach, this isn't, well, I just gave it away, Zach, this isn't what um, I expect out of you and he's like, serious, he's like, all right, Hamps, I think one of my main problems is that, come on out. <laughs> Number two, he keeps me on my toes. Having Zach in class is like a chess game. I'm like strategizing, figuring out how to stay a bit ahead of him, like one step. And then you walk into class and it's checkmate. Didn't see that coming. Which leads me to number three, his honesty. Don't ask Zach a question if you don't want the answer to it. We'll be doing something and I'll hear, this is dumb. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, how can we make it not dumb? And he actually gives me good advice back. I'm like, thank you for your input. Number four, his presence. And I only have 30 of these, so. His presence, he makes the class enjoyable. He brings other classmates out of their shell and at least once a day he makes me laugh or cry. Um, so Zach, I wish you nothing but the best in the future. Thank you for letting me be part of your journey. Keep true to yourself and keep that biting sarcasm. And keep practicing your basketball skills so a girl doesn't keep beating you. And next up is Kathy Donahue. A very tough act to follow there. Uh, my People's Choice Award goes to Miss Natalie Malesko. This is an opportunity for me to tell Natalie just how much she has impressed, impressed me this year. She is a strong and independent young woman who knows her own mind and remains true to herself. She is determined, bold, and mentally tough, all attributes of a leader. She sometimes chooses a path that is challenging when most of us would look for the easier way. She moves forward with her head held high and a strength that cannot be denied. This unwavering belief in herself is the surest path to success. As Natalie steers her own course and confidently makes decisions for herself, she lets us know that she is in control of her future and there is nothing that she cannot achieve. I believe that Natalie Malesko has all the tools to live the life that she has imagined. I believe that she can fly. And next up is Miss Jamie Myers. Okay. Sometimes teachers get the same kids in class a few years in a row. Most of the time, we really love that because we get to see them really grow up. That's definitely the case with SJ. <laughs> I'll be honest though, this guy has stressed me out a little more than I would have preferred with his grades and behavior. But one thing I can count on with him is that every single time he makes it right in the end. He gets his grades where they belong, he fixes any little bits of mischief he might get himself into, and he definitely makes me smile and laugh every day. I'm lucky I get to look out for you. I feel like I'm too low. Um, so as you begin college, I know you'll continue to grow and succeed, and I know you'll keep making me proud. <laughs> okay, next up is Mr. DiVincenzo.
Uh, my People's Choice Award is, goes to Jake Peters. And I'm sure before Jake came tonight, he had no idea why he was coming here. Uh, I am recognizing him for being kind and courteous. Uh, he did this uh, because this is his nature and it's part of his essential being. Um, Jake has been in my photo class for the last two years. Um, every single day that I have had him in class without fail, he will ask me how I am doing. Um, we have some great conversations about many things, uh, including the Eagles winning the Super Bowl. Uh, I just wanted to let him know how much I appreciated his concern and kindness to me with those interactions each day. And I wish him luck at RCBC. Mr. Sherlock is not here, and Mr. Castle will present for him. Mr. Sherlock's People's Choice Award winner is John Lee Pisatsky. My nomination this year is John. I had the pleasure of teaching John for two years, and in doing so, I got, a lot, I got to know him as a student, but more so, I have enjoyed getting to know him as a person. John is intelligent, hardworking, knowledgeable, and outspoken. These attributes all lead to great discussions in my classroom. On more than a few occasions, John was my go-to for starting class discussions and keep, keeping class a lively place. Though John is not in any of my classes this year, from time to time he will visit before the class to talk about current events, Philly sports, or the best hoagies in South Jersey. In all, it has been a joy to teach John, and I will miss talking to him at Seneca next year, but I know that he is off to bigger and better things. John, thanks for being a good kid, and remember that all experiences in life build character. Next up, Mrs. Erica Myra. Hi, everybody. I'd like to welcome my people's choice, Abby Wren. It's been such a joy um, to be my people's 2018 People's Choice School Counselor and Student Council Advisor. My only regret is that I did not get to write Abby a college recommendation because she committed um, early for athletics to Rutgers University in the fall. If I were to write Abby a rec, it would go something like this. To whom it may concern, Selfless, dedicated, and humanitarian are words that capture the essence of Abigail Wren. I have known Abby for the past four years as her school counselor and student council advisor. I am honored to write this recommendation on her behalf. The name Abigail tra translates from the biblical times to mean gives joy. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay. All right. It takes an innate character and trait to continually give of oneself. I find Abby's name to be so fitting as she emanates intelligence, diligence, commitment, and a genuine desire to serve her school and community. Abby is an unsung hero who never looks for recognition. Rather, she seeks the experience and the reward of the outcome it will ensue. And I'd like to finish by sharing a poem by an anonymous author. All right, this, I feel this poem defines the fiber of Abby's genuine being. There are heroes who walk among us, never looking for glory or praise. They do not seek recognition or thoughtfulness or caring ways. Living lives of deep commitment, providing for those they hold dear. Steadfast with a quiet strength through times of laughter and tears. You are a person of that to me, the most selfless woman by far. So Abby Wren, I'd like to thank you for being the hero you are. <laughs>
Yay. I'd like to welcome Sean Katzel back to the stage. As a teacher and a father of four, I always uh, I get the great opportunity to look into the future. Uh, I have kids who are nine and younger, and I always think, wow, I, I hope my own children grow up to be l like these students. And my People's Choice Award winner this year is no exception. Uh, I'd be proud if he were my son, uh, Tom Scarpello. Teaching is a job full of rewards, and getting to know Tom was one of those rewards for me this year. I chose Tom because he is someone who enjoys life to its fullest. We both share the same perspective on life, whether it's discussing the important new aspects of the newest installment of Star Wars, sharing a laugh about life's daily Seinfeldian observations, or discussing the richness of literature we read in class. Tom always came through in making my day, and that's the thing. That Tom's, that's Tom's superpower. Simply put, Tom's a real-life Jedi who has the ability to make this world a better place. So Tom, remember, the Force will always be with you. Always. You. Next up, Ms. Jennifer Enos. So out of all of the decisions I've ever had to make in my entire life, um, this was probably one of the easiest. Uh, my People's Choice Award is uh, Melanie Weaver. Um, so Melanie and I actually made a very similar decision in high school. Um, we both gave up varsity softball to pursue robotics because the season overlaps. Um, and for that, I'm extremely thankful. Uh, Melanie has been an integral part of the Iron Devils robotics team through her effort to recruit and train new members with an interest in electrical and mechanical engineering, along with management. She's always helping students learn about the electrical wiring that goes into a successful robot, even if you only have about a day and a half to do it. Uh, she's considered to be a role model by many. In, in class, Melanie shines as a true leader during group work. She's able to guide struggling group members in adapting to an inquisitive mindset by mapping out solutions through advanced processes. I am impressed with her collaboration with other students along with her ability to think through complex problems. In the many hours that we've spent together and the many late nights that we've had here and the many pizzas we've had to order, um, I've discovered that Melanie is a true leader and will be successful in anything that she sets her mind to. And up next is Ms. Sue Johnson. I'd like to say I think we left the best uh, for last here. So my people's choice is Mr. Nick Yanessa. <laughs> Um, so I've had the pleasure of being Nick's counselor for the past four years, and I admit there are times that he drives me absolutely crazy, um, but it's been a pleasure watching him grow over the years. Um, each year he would have ups and downs, but um, each year I, I enjoyed getting to know him more and more. He's had his fair share of obstacles over the years, but he's a fighter and someone I know who will be great in life. He's goofy, he's sweet, he's smart, and he has yet to even realize his full potential. I will definitely miss him next year, but I'm excited to see what Nick has to offer to the world. So this is my people's choice, and the last person for the night, uh, Nick Yanessa. Tonight you've had the opportunity to listen to our Seneca staff share their impressions of some of the finest young people life has to offer. I hope 
you've been as inspired as I have, and remember that these students will lead our next generation. You have all made us proud. Students, please rise. Let's have one last round of applause for our People's Choice Award winners. This concludes our 2018 People's Choice Awards. Thank you for coming out tonight to Sharon in the celebration. Please be sure to pick a program up on the way out. And there are light refreshments being served in the cafeteria. We hope you will join us there. Good evening. <laughs>